everybody. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always asking me about like some of the drill legends in the culture. They know I'm a street reporter. They know I've been documenting the culture for a while. And um, they be just asking me questions. I want to bring to your attention, I'm not sure if you realize, but most of the people who love the drill culture know that yesterday was L.A. Capone's birthday. Uh, that's a drill legend from Chicago who lost his life due to the gun violence while leaving a recording studio in Chicago. Uh, dangerous. In my opinion, that was like one of the first cases of the back door. I understand people been getting set up for a long time, but I believe that was like one of the first cases of some snake shit because of how it was set up. A studio, leaving out the back door. The back door was at an alley. How people knew that, it was kind of crazy. But he lost his life. And, uh, it's been a big celebration. They had like a party. They throw like a little small festival or get together every year to commemorate him. Um, you know what's dope about L.A. Capone family is they mother then kind of made a commends. L.A. Capone mother uh, then invited F.B.G. Duck to dinners and things. F.B.G. Duck mother to dinners and things like that. Seemed like they didn't made a commends to move the culture forward. Uh, it's sad though how the young man lost his life because I do think that he would be a superstar. Just think about it. He knew Yachty, uh, little Yachty before his fame. He knew like some Disney people and shit like that. Uh, he was cool with like Keith, Katie got bands, all his friends are real drill legends. Uh, and I think his flow, a lot of people is using that L.A. Capone flow right now. You know, I think L.A. Capone was like King Von before it was a King Von. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of people tell me that uh, L.A. Capone was real ratchet like that. I hear something behind my back. I guess it's somebody working on something like that. I didn't know what that was. I thought somebody was going to get truth out of it. Sit all around here. We actually downtown again at my favorite burger spot. If you can tell, we always come here and get some burgers and shit like that, you know. So uh, we try to be in and out, though, man, because you know it's people out here crazy. Man. We don't want to get bleed down for some burgers and shit like that, but uh, we come because I believe they got like some of the best burgers and shit like that. But yeah, they was asking me about the LA Capone shit. I think it was a drill that day. That's one of the reasons I be doing these blogs because. I found uh, a lot of these things intriguing to me. I was in, enamored by like a lot of the names people say, especially like Odie. I want to tell y'all something. A name I'm always intrigued by is Odie, O Block. People are always saying truth. You got to go to O Block. You got to talk to somebody from O Block. We want that perspective. You know, I've been working the phones, working the circuit. I done spoke with a few O Block members. Uh, today I was actually getting an opportunity to interview uh, an O Block member by the name of Big Wani. I'm pretty sure we all know Big Wani. Uh, his video finna hit a million views that he just dropped uh, like a year ago, but it's on his way hitting a million views. I only got a few videos out. Seem like he got a little bit of clout. Uh, you see him in the videos with all the members, beefing with a lot of people on the internet. So I got an opportunity to interview him. And I'm not gonna lie, I asked him everything, you know? Cause there's a lot of things people wanna know uh, about O Block and shit like that. So I asked him everything. He didn't run from nothing. He kept it 100 on everything. I asked him whether you agree with it or not, he, he did. So I got that probably going to drop tomorrow. But uh, like they were saying, man, you know, I think L.A. Capone was going to be a drill legend. I think he was going to blow up. I think he'll be rich as hell right now. I think he was a vital member. And I think him losing his life still rubbed people the wrong way, even though his killers are still caught. I still think his death still got a little bit of mystery in it, though. But... You know, it's crazy out here, but subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to keep you updated on a lot of hip-hop entertainment news. But you got to see the like button. I need you to hit the like button. I don't want you to send me no donations. It's hard out here. You don't got no time to be sending me no bread. Baby, tell her to me. You want to tell y'all something. You don't got no time to be sending me no bread. You feel me? It's hard out here. You can't be digging in your pockets, coming the money out your pockets, taking it from the babies, trying to send it to me through a cash app. That ain't cool. I'm a grown man. I'm going to be okay. You want to support me? This is how you do it. You take your finger up like this. You see that finger like this? And then you see the like button on your phone? You hit that like button. Bing. You know what happened when you hit that like button? It make my videos grow. I appreciate it, everybody. It's the home of Truth Teller Street Reporter.